Now the Air Force One is one of the most popular sneakers in the world. Now is it because they go with every outfit and fairly affordable? Or is it because TikTok girls made them trendy and now you see every girl in the mall with a pair of Air Force Ones? All that aside, the Air Force One is a legendary sneaker and there could be some mistakes while you wear them. So today I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So now let's go ahead and get right into it. Before we move on, if you like sneaker and fashion content, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notifications. Now let's go ahead and get right into it. So tip number one, make them look unique. And no, I'm not talking about getting custom LV Air Force Ones. Let's leave that in 2018. What I'm talking about is so much more subtle and still gives your forces a good look. First thing is cream laces. They're super affordable and they look good on almost every sneaker. Now the sneakers they look the best on are of course the Air Force One, Jordan 1, and Jordan 4. I recommend these from Amazon. They're only about seven bucks. It's a real simple, affordable way to up your Air Force Ones. Another thing you can do is get some gold tips for your Air Force Ones. It's still low key, it's still affordable, and it still makes your Air Force Ones pop out from the rest. Mistake number two you're not getting rid of the creases. Don't let the TikTok girls fool you. A dirty pair of Air Force Ones does not look better than a crisp pair. I mean, I get it, they're shoes at the end of the day, they're meant to be worn, and of course, when you wear them, they're gonna get creased up, but there's a simple, easy fix to that. Now, there's two ways you can go about this. You can get some shields from Amazon for about 10 bucks. If you don't know what these are, these are just force fields that go on the toe of your sneaker. That way, when you step, you won't crease them. But if you wanna go the free route, most of your sneakers come with a cardboard shoe tree. I actually made a TikTok about this one here. So you wanna take that cardboard shoe tree, cut off the tops, stick them back in your sneaker and you're good to go. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, wearing these in your sneakers isn't gonna be the most comfortable, but it's gonna be the best way to prevent the creases in your sneakers. Now again, they're not the most comfortable, so not everyone is gonna do it. But if you wear your sneakers normally and you wanna get them creases out, Here's an easy tip for you guys. Super easy fix. So go ahead and grab an iron, a wet cloth, and your sneakers. Shove some socks in the toe of the sneaker, cover the toe with the wet cloth, and gently go over the toe box until the creases are gone. It's so easy to do, and you can do it as many times as you want because it won't damage the sneaker. And of course, don't leave the iron on the wet rag for too long. Mistake number three, you're wearing too tight of a pant. Now, of course, this comes down to personal preference. If you like skinny jeans, go ahead and rock them. But since the Air Force One is more of a bulky sneaker, you wanna have more of a baggier pant to pair with them. Now, trust me, I know baggy pants aren't for everyone, especially the short dudes out there. It can make us look a lot shorter. So if you don't wanna transition to baggy, go ahead and get the slim denim. It looks great with the Air Force Ones, especially this Levi's pair right here. This style goes great with your Air Force Ones, Jordan 1s and Jordan 4s. But guys, don't forget, fashion is about trying different things out, seeing what you like and don't like. So if you've been wanting to dabble in the baggy pants for a while, go ahead and give it a try. It can't hurt. I mean, who knows? You might even end up liking it. Mistake number four a lot of people make is that you're not trying anything new with your Air Force 1s. Now guys, I know the all white Air Force 1 goes with almost anything in your closet. It's the most versatile, but there is tons of other colorways out there that are being slept on that you gotta check out. And just like the white on white Air Force Ones, they go with almost everything in your closet. Because as you know, that's super important when it comes to buying a sneaker. You wanna make sure it goes with almost everything you have in your closet. That way you actually get wear out of the sneaker and it's not just sitting in your closet. Now, one of my favorites that I feel like are being super slept on are the Platinum Tint Air Force Ones. They're just as versatile as the white on whites, but they just have a bit more flavor with the sale midsole and swoosh. All I'm saying is open your options up when you're looking to buy a pair of Air Force Ones. Don't just limit yourself to the white on whites. And guys, don't forget that they also have mid Air Force Ones and high Air Force Ones. People forget about them and they have some low key fire colorways. Mistake number five, you're not spicing your fit up with the Air Force Ones. Since the Air Force Ones are plain and simple, you can go a little crazy when it comes to the other pieces of your outfits. Opposed to wearing something like a Sean Witherspoon Air Max, that shoe is loud enough, so you wouldn't want a loud outfit to pair with it. But since the Air Force One is plain, you can go with a patterned jacket, hoodie, or shirt. That'll be the main focal point of your outfit, while the Air Force Ones just complement it. 
So when you have some Air Force Ones on, don't be afraid to wear some bold colors for your top pieces. So those are just some tips when it comes to the Air Force Ones. Like I said, at the end of the day, it all comes down to personal preference. It always comes down to rocking what you like and rocking what you feel comfortable with. Remember, you don't always have to follow the trends. The trends are more like guidelines. You can add your own little flavor to it. So don't think because everyone's rocking baggier pants with the Air Force Ones that you do too, because it's not the case. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this one here. Go ahead and leave a like on the video if you haven't already. It helps out a ton. And subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Appreciate you guys for sticking all the way to the end. Thank you for all the support on the channel recently. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>